The president just can't help himself. Uh, the Washington Post uh, fact checker giving President Obama three Pinocchios uh, for claiming Saturday that Republicans in Congress have, quote, blocked every serious idea to strengthen the middle class. Hmm. Well, my next guest has filed a motion in the House calling for the arrest of former IRS official Lois Lerner. We're joined now by Congressman Steve Stockman, a member of both the House Foreign Affairs and Science, Space, and Technology Committees. Good to have you with us, Congressman. Uh, what is the status of uh, your request for her to be arrested? Well, there's some confusion in the House uh, whether uh, we can issue this kind of arrest warrant. But just like in a court of law, when you violate the judge's order, in which what Lois Lerner has done, she's committed a, a what we uh, sanction against her and there's many in the house that believe that she cannot be held accountable for contempt of congress and we found out in the law from 1812 that you can hold someone accountable and right now the parliamentarians are reviewing our request should this request which is a privileged motion it doesn't have to go to the president doesn't have to go to the senate and it doesn't even have to go to john boehner it goes to the floor for a vote and if we get 217 she then arrest warrant is issued, and she is picked up and put in jail. Now, she can avoid this if she cooperates, like she did with the Justice Department, and talking to us about what's going on. This is not a, a, uh, an item which she can uh, say, well, she's going to jail regardless. She can control her own fate should she choose to start cooperating with Congress. Uh, Cong uh, Congressman, I understand your frustration because there is a certain... Uh, optic here of, uh, of feebleness on the part of the House if it, can, if it cites someone for contempt of Congress and then has uh, no recourse uh, or ability to hold them accountable. Uh, let me ask you a question, however, about arresting her. Would that be the sergeant at arms? Uh, who would have that authority uh, based on the, uh, the arrest warrant that would issue? Now, mind you, we researched back to 1812 uh, this law, and as we understand it, it would be the sergeant of arms can actually issue the arrest warrant, and then others could pick her up. Now, that is the case that, we, as we understand it right now, and they would hold her in a jail near D.C. if she chooses not to cooperate. And that is the current status as I understand it. And if we, if we get back positive results, we're going to bring it to the floor. And I want to see some Democrats to stand on the floor and defend what she has done. At, at this point, are you encouraged a second federal judge, as you know, Friday, uh, ordered the Internal Revenue Service to explain what in the world has happened to those emails that have been destroyed? Apparently, there will be another federal judge uh, hearing a different case with the FEC. This is a series of striking coincidences, but it is also must be encouraging to you and to the House uh, and all who want the answers here uh, that two judges are saying to the IRS, it is now time to explain yourself. Think about it. Lou, these people down here in my district and near Texas have been violated by the IRS and they don't want to be held accountable. They believe they're above the people. And for me, I'm outraged. They work for the people just as I work for the people. She works for the, the government and the government works for us, the people. She has violated personal rights and then, and then holds Congress up and says, I'm not going to cooperate. If we allow this to go on and don't act, then in the future, everybody will lie to Congress because they know we're, we're a dog with no teeth. Congressman, we appreciate you being with us and, and thank you so much.